Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do and today we're going to go do some flail mowing. So I've got the flail mower hooked up to the tractor. It's all set to go and I've got my artillion tool basket on with a chainsaw and I got my chaps in there and I've got some I've got some chains in case I got to pull any logs from here to there. And this uh, this long pole, <laughs> I stick that in the ground and I set the camera on it. So that's what that's all about. Um, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for checking out the channel. Give me a like if you like this video. I do appreciate those thumbs up. And uh, let's go have some fun. Let's go cut some grass and some brush. Here we go. If you were with me last time, this is the area where I was doing the brush hog versus flail mowing comparison. Well, one of the areas. And, uh, and if you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to check it out. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the flail mower today, so that might give you a hint of what I prefer. <laughs> but anyways, this field has some oak trees, and it has some Norway pines and some white pines. And it's starting to grow some brush up here and there. Uh, it's not bad yet, but I want to make it look even better right now. Uh, it hasn't been mowed for probably, I would guess, you know, seven to eight years. I bet my dad did it last time. Uh, so I want to get in here and I want to make it look pretty good. So um, that's what we're going to do. I'll, I'm going to get the drone up in the air also so you're going to be able to see some aerial shots. And, and uh, yeah, here we go. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Did you hear the flail mower kind of bogged down in this heavy dense stuff over here and I had to lift it up? This is this is pretty thick. You get down in here, there's some real thick stuff in here and it doesn't help. It's kind of wet today. Uh, we had some rain earlier today so it's still kind of wet. But what I want to point out is that the flail mower is belt driven. Under this uh, protective case there's two different belts. And it's a good thing that it's belt driven because if it wasn't, if it was just directly hooked up to the PTO, you know, that drum will spin and the hammers will hit stuff, but it's bogged down and the tractor's trying to get that PTO moving, right? Um, so it's a good thing for your tractor's gears and transmission, the, the whole PTO assembly inside. You don't ever want to have to open up your tractor and pay for those costs of repair. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to know what that would be. So belt driven implements and slip clutch implements are best. If you have a shear pin on an implement, make sure that it's going to be a shear pin that's going to break. You know, my snow blower uh, is a shear pin. I, I break several of those usually every season. Um, but yeah, if you're thinking about a flail mower, uh, I've got two belts on mine. I, I would imagine maybe three would be better. Those belts will wear out over time and I'll have to replace them. Hey, it's it's doing really well. I don't know how many hours I'll be able to get out of it, but so far so good. All right, let's keep her going. Whoa, 
look what I almost ran over you guys. I think this is part of an old barrel or a culvert or something. Uh, this would not have been fun. It actually got hung up before it went under the flail mower. Ooh, I got lucky. I really got lucky. I hope I didn't pop a tire or nothing. Hey, let me show you what I got under my tractor. That V expanded skid plate probably just saved me a big repair bill. It's a good thing I had that on running over that chunk of metal. Oh, that could have been ugly. For a set of uh, Bluetooth headphones, these 3M work tunes are awesome. I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. I just really, really like these. They are so comfortable. And you know that little knob that you have on the top of your hat? All right, and I know most headphone companies think of it, but they actually, if you can see this here, yeah, there we go. There's a little, there's a little spot for that knob of your hat to fit right in, and ta-da! <laughs> perfectly comfortable it's not pressing on the top of your head you know how that hurts when you hit it on something oh man that hurts hey anyway i appreciate you guys watching give me a thumbs up if you like this it does help promote my channel and i would really really appreciate it leave a comment if you like check out our facebook group a ritter bit will do uh and if you're interested in a flail mower you can see what it can do on some heavy wet grass it does a really good job it also takes down some good brush so if uh you haven't seen those videos of mine i've got a lot of videos of flail mower taking down some medium sized to pretty heavy brush so go check those out might be interested in it all right guys as always until next time keep on tractoring and god bless